Hey folks, Sean with the New Columbia Movement. Faith, family, and fraternity are the three tenets that makes our organization who we are. Today we're going to take a deep dive into family. What makes it so important, not just for us as an organization, but for the parallel society we're trying to build. Let's get into it. Family is the bedrock, the central pillar, the moral foundation for everything that society is. In traditional Christian teaching, there's the idea of subsidiarity, which is power should be delineated as much as it can be down to the most basic unit, the most basic element, which is in fact family. This is important to understand because when we look at society today and the general issues that we're dealing with, we have to understand where do we attack? What's the first problem we have to fix? The answer is, of course, the family. Unfortunately for us, since about the 1960s, with the advent of the sexual revolution and the sexual liberation movements that became so prolific and continue on to this day, the role of the family has taken a backseat in society. Sexual liberation no longer values the sacrament of marriage. It even goes so far as to teach young men and women to be sexually promiscuous in their youth. New Wave Feminism teaches a warped liberation theology which, as G.K. Chesterton would have put it, teaches women that they're slaves when they serve their husbands and families, but free when they serve their employers. Feminism is all about options. You want to be a nurse, a teacher, or a stay-at-home dad? No big deal. Stuffy gender roles say that a man has to provide. Feminism says, who cares? You're no less of a man if it's your wife that brings home the Tubmans. In the last three decades, we've seen a tremendous surge of women in the workplace, resulting in huge economic growth. And with women running this place, we're actually talking about a healthy work-life balance. And now we have time for our hobby. Hey, Frank, need help with that pearl stitch? The ever-present abomination that is pornography completely warps men's perception of women, teaching them that women are merely sex objects and cripples their chances of having a long-term, sustainable, healthy relationship in the future. Likewise, women have found their destructive addictions on social media. This voluntary social credit score where they constantly seek validation and adulation from random internet strangers. This often erodes away at their ability to also sustain long-term relationships. They no longer value the husband that they're supposed to be committed to. Oh, look, a TP. Ah, oh, damn it. You just couldn't go one minute without being the center of attention, could you? What is the point of what you're doing right now? Do you even know? Uh, can I just look at the damn TP? Yeah, I know, it's the TP. You interrupted this to direct my attention to where my attention already was? Ugh. Oh, now we're blocking subway doors too? Should we all wait till you're done doing nothing so the train can leave? Is that what we're supposed to do? Sure, let's stop traffic while we're at it too. I mean, is civilization supposed to just come to a halt so you can pretend you're Mary Poppins? I mean, look, you guys are stopping traffic, wrecking hotel rooms. The mail is coming late all the time. You guys are really becoming a burden, you know that? If women can't get the artificial short-lived dopamine hit, a short-lived satisfaction that can really only be fulfilled by social media, it'll often cause rifts in relationships. Relationships will end up being very shallow. Social media also has the tendency of rewarding degeneracy. It inadvertently teaches women that when they post immodest pictures of themselves, that's what's going to satisfy their addiction. This, of course, leads to things like OnlyFans, where women now openly sell their bodies to strangers on the internet. All this is perhaps being reflected by the record decline in marriages over the past several years. Additionally, we're seeing a drastic decrease in birth rates. This is dangerous. Now, of course, I could drone on for quite a while with all the factors that are playing into the destruction of the family. But the important takeaway here is this. Starting a family is the revolution. Or should I say, counter-revolution. When so much of the world is aligned against the basic element, a good, holy, Christian family, it doesn't take much to be a counter-revolutionary. So, for men in particular, reject the black pill. Avoid these warped ideologies such as MGTOW, which teaches men, much like feminism teaches women, that family is ultimately chains that bind you to some unhappy, unfulfilling lifestyle. This is just not true. Studies show that some of the happiest people are those who are in sustainable marriages, especially those with children. 
Innately, the pursuit of virtue in your own life is going to attract the type of person that you were looking for. We also have to realize, though, that marriage doesn't end the battle. There's a record high number of divorce rates these days. You must constantly fight to better yourself and better your partner. And if not for yourselves, for your children. Studies show that children who are raised in two-parent households turn out much better than those who are not. Also remember to make time for your family. Jobs are a means to an end, not the end themselves. The modern corporal world would like to teach us otherwise, but we know better. But most importantly, go to church and take your family with you. Focus on virtue and morals within your family. And next time you see a big 12-passenger van driving down the road with a dozen kids in the back, don't sigh or gasp or snicker or laugh, but smile and take notes. Because that, that is the sustainable future that we should be aiming for. Go build your family. God bless. Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. I really hope you got something out of this video. And if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing down below. As we continue to grow and expand, you can expect a lot more content coming from us in the future. And if this kind of content interests you, consider checking out our podcast playlist, where we go into a variety of different topics in much more detail that you may enjoy. Thanks so much. God bless. Have a great day.